All right. So today the Falconers of Nigeria will play their second match of the FIFA Under 20 Women's World Cup. The team is coming off a tightly contested win in their opening match of the competition and now they will look to make it 6 points out of 6 in what will likely be their toughest test of the group. Next up for Nigeria will be a German side coming off a big big win. A team the Falconers have a lot of history with in this competition. Now before we get into more details about this game, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much. So yeah, the Falconers of Nigeria will be taking on Germany in their second group match of the competition. The game will be played today, Wednesday the 4th of September, 11 p.m. Nigerian time to start. And it will be hosted at the Estadio Metropolitano de Techo in Bogota, Colombia. Now, to watch the game, I think the only option is online, y'all. I don't think it's going to be on TV. That's, um, I've checked and checked none about TV, but I know where you can watch it online. And the website, you just type in plus.fifa.com and it takes you straight to the website as you see right here on your screen. And um, you go down to live schedule, where, which has the games on it right now. You click on it and you click on what game you wanna watch. As you see right here, the Nigeria game is already up. So you just click on it and um, it takes you straight, it takes you to this page right here, my bad, and you click watch free, and from there, it's gonna show you the game, and that's that's all you gotta do. Now, speaking of the game, the Falconers will be taking on a team in Germany that has had a lot of success in this competition, three-time champions of this competition, and what's crazy about those three championships is that they went through Nigeria all three of those times. 2004 they won the World Cup the under 20 women's World Cup they beat us in the quarterfinals 2010 they beat us in the final they hosted that competition 2014 we got cheated now we got cheated but they beat us in the final in that competition the extra time 1-0 score now I'm not saying that it means much because of course it's in the past it's not gonna play the game for you but it is crazy right there a little crazy stat right there but when you come to the team right now germany just won their first match of the competition like i said earlier they defeated venezuela by five goals to two and honestly i felt like it was a deserved result not saying that venezuela is a bad side but i felt like germany was just that much better than them on the day on the falconist side of course a 1-0 win against korea republic like i said said a real tough result right there but it took us to four games straight at this competition i think the commentator said it was some type of record for the team maybe the first time we have won four straight at the women's world cup and this game right here could take it to five straight if they get a w at the end of the day now going into the match or going back to the previous match the game against korea republic I feel like we gotta give the team some grace. Um, this was their first match of the competition. A lot of those players have not played out of the continent or in any big competition like this before. So you expect some a little nerves, some jitters, you know, to come out of the body. But we saw that there were improvements from as the time went on, especially from first half to second half, we saw improvement. So I expect improvements in these coming up games, improvements as a team and individually. I feel like we can get it all together. We have some quality players. It's not like the players are not good. We know that it, we know a lot of their quality. So it, this is just a matter of putting everything together, everybody gelling together. And um, I feel like it's probably gonna take one or two things to get them all to click and they'll be rolling. But this right here is a real important game. Looking at this game um, against Germany, would like to see the passing improve. I felt like you can even compare it to the Super Falcons because sometimes you're like, are you trying to pass the ball away on purpose? Because some of the passes is like, you're not even putting anything in it. You're just playing it forward. 
So the passing definitely has to improve. Fouls. We can't be giving away fouls, especially against a team like Germany. Germany is a top side. They know how to utilize the set pieces and things like that. So we can't be giving away silly ticky tacky fouls because the refs are definitely going to call them. Um, we're not saying that the refs are against us or anything, but they're definitely going to call those ticky tacky fouls. Let's just keep it real. And uh, I'll finish it because we had a number of chances that we could put the game away even before we scored our goal and even after we scored our goal. So if we could do a little bit better in our finishing, our defending seemed like it was good. We did have a couple of, you know, scary moments, goalkeeping department, a couple of balls misjudged in the box, but altogether I felt like it was okay. The midfield looks like the issue, but I felt like they were coming together, especially in the second half. And like I said, we should expect improvement from this team right here. Um, you shouldn't expect like every time that these teams come out flying in competitions like this. Sometimes it takes a while. You go back to 2014, Oshwala said, they had to basically grind by the skin of their teeth to get into the next round. And um, if not for that result in the third match of that competition, we only get to see what we got to see out of Atisa Oshwala in that we, they would have went home in the first round. So it, it's margins in competitions like this, but we got to credit the team for getting that first win. That's really important. No matter how you want to dissect it, their performances, uh, was it luck, was it this, was it that, however you want to put it, they got that win. And that's really important. Can you, can you at least win? Even if you didn't play well, can you win? And they did that. And they've been doing that through qualifications, you know, to keep it real. They've not, they've not played a game that people say, wow, but they've got the job done. This team is continuing to get the job done, and that's a trait by itself. So I feel like we got room to improve, but we got a lot of stuff that we're doing right, and we got a lot of stuff that we got to credit the team for, even the coaching staff. So going into this match, I feel like we have to respect this team this German side but at the same time we cannot fear them we cannot not play our game we have to come out play our game um, be strong defensively you know be smart in the midfield with possession um, and finishing all things like that if we play our game why not why not is it I mean we're a team that can compete with any team at this level. We've proven it time after time after time. So the players just have to have it in their mind that, look, you're not coming here to be second fiddle. You're coming here to play your game and get the job done. So the Falconers of Nigeria will be taking on Germany in their second match of the FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup. Let me know your thoughts on the game. Put it in the comment section. Also, your prediction. Put them in the comment section and please don't forget to like this video also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank y'all for watching Peace.